All right, so now I'm going to show you how to convert between the mass of something and the amount of something, which is usually expressed in moles. So the main tool that's going to help us do this is the fact that the atomic mass of an element in atomic mass units, or AMU, is equal to that element's molar mass, which is in grams per mole. So the molar mass is simply the mass that one mole of the element weighs. So in the case of hydrogen, this number down here is not only the atomic mass of the hydrogen in AMU, but it's also the molar mass of hydrogen in grams per mole. So one mole of hydrogen weighs 1.008 grams. So that means I can express these quantities as follows. I can say that one mole of hydrogen is equal to 1.008 grams of hydrogen, which is also equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen atoms. So all three of these quantities up here are equivalent, which means I could use any two of them in a conversion factor if I need to. And in the problems that follow, uh, we're going to do, we're going to use some of these things as conversion factors and we're going to work out a, pro a couple of problems. So here we go. Suppose I have 16.5 grams of hydrogen. And I want to know how much, how many moles of hydrogen that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the molar mass as a conversion factor. So in my conversion factor, I'll put the grams of hydrogen on the bottom, and I'll put the moles of hydrogen on top. And for every one mole of hydrogen, we have 1.008 grams of hydrogen. Grams of hydrogen cancels out, and we're left with nothing but moles of hydrogen. And that gives us 16.4 moles of hydrogen. That one's pretty easy. Let's move on to a harder one. Now suppose that I want to know the mass of a single oxygen atom in grams. So we want to use these conversion factors up here, these equivalent quantities, at least now for oxygen we, we want to do that, to figure out the mass of one oxygen atom in grams. So we start out with one oxygen atom And we know from Avogadro's number, from the mole concept, that for every 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen atoms, we have one mole of oxygen. And we also know from the periodic table that for every one mole of oxygen, we have 16.00 grams of oxygen. Oxygen atoms cancels out with oxygen atoms. Moles of oxygen cancels out with moles of oxygen. And we're left with, noth with nothing but grams of oxygen. And if you multiply everything on the top and you divide by everything on the bottom, you will get about 2.7 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. So the mass of one oxygen atom is 2.7 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. So this is just an example on, you know, how to use molar mass to convert from one thing to the other, whether it's the amount in moles, the amount in atoms, or 
you want to convert the amount into a mass. To do that, we use molar mass. So there you go.